So this week's tutorial is based off of none other than the Sailor Jupiter herself, Makoto Kino. Now Makoto was always uh, fantastic because she's the perfect combination of traditional feminine and traditional tough. And so I really wanted to kind of show that with this look by doing like a cat eye sort of and a smoky eye at the same time and you know. I actually put a lot of thought into this one, so I hope you like it. Uh, so we're starting out, like I often do, with the concealer on the eyelids, you know, smoothing it out, and then putting some powder to create a base. And I'm using this very uh, skinny little fluffy brush and the green shade from the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette and putting that in my crease. Then using a slightly bigger fluffy brush and kind of f really fluffing it in there. And then going into one of the uh, green shades from the Sweet Peach palette, I'm really trying to blow out that green in the crease. Now taking the black NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, I'm creating a black base on my eyelid and then going in with a dense fluffy brush in the crease and a little more of that green just to make sure I have the edge of the black base really diffused before I go in with the lid shade which is this like iridescent sort of glowy color that I thought was going to be much greener than it was and it turned out to be pretty blue both in real life and it was picking up really blue on camera. So I ended up going back into the Sweet Peach palette right after actually and taking the dark green from that palette instead and patting it on top of that color that I was just using that's what I'm doing here to kind of tone down that blue and it took a couple of layers to really cover the blue but it ended up looking better in the end. Very very shiny, very sparkly and much more green and less blue. So that's that was what I was going for. I should have known better, better than to use the other color first but you live and you learn now going in with that fluffy brush that first one that i used i'm just adding some more green into the crease making sure all of that is blended out and now for the liner i know i've done a lot of winged liner in this series but this one was extra special to me because we're doing a cat eye with the pink uh nyx vivid bright eyeliner but i really wanted it to be lightning bolt like uh makoto but i didn't want it to look weird also i wanted it to stay wearable so what we did was you i drew out the the bottom line of the eyeliner and then drew a line straight up on the outside of my eye and then kind of created that triangle out there and then did just a thin line on my lash line and so when you zoom in when you'll see at the end i really have like a pikachu tail shaped eyeliner. It's really cool and I actually really like how it turned out, honestly. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just using some concealer to cover my under eyes to highlight the center of my face and then I also used it on my chin a little bit to cover my acne but I didn't really do much in the way of foundation. My skin looks pretty good this day anyway and I don't think Makoto would wear foundation if she didn't need to, you know what I mean? I don't think she'd be opposed to wearing it if she needed it but she wouldn't wear it if she, did it if she didn't need it. So right now I'm just putting on some baby doll pink blush to make my cheeks look all rosy curling my eyelashes, throwing on a thousand pounds of mascara like I always do. You could of course put on falsies if you want to, but I decided not to for this look. My lashes looked pretty intense anyway. I decided to tight line both my lower waterline and my top waterline behind my lashes with black just to add some of that smokiness back into my eyes. And then I took like a little, uh, like a flat eyeliner brush and I went back into that dark green shade in the Sweet Peach palette. And we're just kind of stamping that on my lower uh, lash line. I very seldom ever do anything to my lower lash line because my eyes are such weird shapes and they're just very uneven. It has a tendency to really exaggerate and really accentuate that. So if you ever see my eye looks and you're thinking I should have something on the bottom, I often don't do that because it, it looks weird. But this time I thought I could get away with it and I think it turned out pretty nice. Now with the NYX Throw of Genius palette, I'm just showing you which uh, highlighter I'm using there. We're just, we're just gonna put that on the high points of my cheeks and on the apples of my cheeks. And then going in with this Milani liquid lipstick, uh, I'm gonna put this all over my lips. This liquid lipstick actually really matches the liquid liner on my eyes. So they really complement each other well. And that is the finished Sailor Jupiter inspired makeup look. I really hope you liked it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!